changed my design a little bit. I'm actually going to be incorporating the stand. Uh, please excuse the air conditioner, it's kind of hot in here. Um, so I actually have a bunch of these brackets that are used to uh, put shelving together. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use these and incorporate it into the uh, stand. So I got kind of how, how it, I've got it laid out exactly kind of how where it goes. Um, I just kind of lean up this up against here and so I can put this together. All right. I got a bunch of these uh, screws too. Uh, they're uh, I think they're inch and a half, uh, inch and a quarter screws. Uh, you can see them a little closer there. kind of screw them together. I don't put all the screws in first. I just want to make sure it's all together and, and looks good. Um, but it holds it together really tight. You don't have to worry about the wood cracking uh, when you just put screws together. There's more screws holding it. Uh, I think I got these at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're not cheap. I don't remember the exact price, but... C24, I don't know if you can see that. Seems to me they were, I don't know, seven or eight bucks a piece or something. When you buy it, you know, this, I think you need, yeah, you need eight of them, so. Um, kind of a lot of money, but they, uh, uh, they hold together pretty well. <laughs> basic lower frame put together. I'm just going to put the rest of the screws in. Uh, sorry it's a little hot in here. Uh, summertime in Arizona. I think it's about 105 outside so. Alright. Ah, uh, air conditioning. Okay well I got all the screws in the bottom section here and what I did is I just turned it over and put the other brackets in just like here. Um, but put the uh, the wood up underneath like this. Before I did it the opposite way and you have to like, hold the brackets in place and the wood keeps falling down. But I realized you can just turn it upside down and gravity will hold it against the floor and line everything up uh, perfectly. So as long as the floor is flat. Um, so I'll go ahead and screw that together and turn it back over. Okay, I got the top portion all screwed together. Uh, also, you notice I put some straps on the top. There's a pretty big distance between uh, here and up here, so it kind of bows a little bit. 
I just got a piece of uh, framing strap and wrapped it around the corner. You can see, uh, I don't know, it's maybe a foot long or something. So. Okay, and now that that's done, it's time to put the, uh, the wood in to hold the mill up. Um, I'm going to be using actually a truss, to, uh, also a Simpson tie. It's uh, I don't know, the model number Simpson Strong Tie HUS26. This is for uh, like a, a roof joist or floor joist. Um, I'm just going to put those in here like that. And that'll be really strong to be able to support the uh, uh, the mill. So I've got those installed. I'm just going to screw them in here and here on both sides and put the wood in. And it's got uh, some holes right here. Uh, these are often used with nails. I'm just going to use screws. I'll use long screws. Uh, I have some long deck screws like this that I can uh, use through there uh, to tie the wood into here. So, all right. Okay, I got the uh, the two supports in for the mill. Uh, I got the screw. Well, I've got a few more screws to put in, but you can see I put all the screws in there. Uh, longer screws here. Uh, I still have to do some screwing over here, but. Um, so besides a few more screws, the, uh, the framing, all the structural part is basically done. Uh, next thing is going to be to uh, put the, uh, the plywood in to support the mill here. Put the uh, plywood for the drain pans. I got all the plywood over there ready for it. So, all right.